Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Erin and today we have a new background. We are just in a new position. I am changing my backgrounds currently. I have two new setups. They are fairly how I want them. They may change. It just depends on how much I like them. We also have a new ring light today so if the lighting looks a little bit different that's why so bear with me while I figure out exactly how I want the backgrounds to be and how I you know I'm gonna fix the lighting and stuff like that but I really wanted a book themed background for my book videos I just think that would be cool and I recently got a new bookshelf that we set up this weekend and I just wanted to film in front of it so let me know if you guys like this in the comments down below. So today we are unpackaging my Nightworms package. This is March. Yes, we are in March. I don't know why I'm so confused by that, but we're in March and this is the March Nightworms package and I'm very excited. I do know what is in it because I saw spoilers. So I, I do know what's in this, <laughs> but I will try to be as excited for you guys as I can. So let's open up our little goodie bag. This has a sticker that says danger keep out, which I think is really cute. They always have the cutest little goodies in here. So our drink this month is caramel apple tea. It says want a caramel apple and it is from Leaf and Lumos with Nightworms. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, this is reflective. Sorry, hopefully you can see that. It is a loose leaf tea. So that is so exciting. I love tea and I love caramel apple flavored anything. I do love caramel apples in real life as well, but anything apple flavored, I am a big, big, big fan of. So we have this little instruction card and it says, welcome one and all to this wondrous occasion. Please take a seat, pour yourself a cup and join us as the show begins. Caramel apple tea. Bring eight ounces of water to a boil, then place two to three teaspoons teaspoons of tea into a strainer of your choice and let steep for three to four minutes. This tea can also be enjoyed cold for a refreshing beverage during the warmer months. And then it has the ingredients and I just think that is really, really, really cool. I like that. I'm excited for this tea. I hope it tastes really good because it sounds really, really good. So our bookmark says Kills and Thrills March 2021 and this is what it looks like very very cute and then this is what it looks like on the back i love the bookmarks they're always so much fun i just love collecting bookmarks though to be fair so you can never go wrong with a bookmark in my opinion then we have a sticker from a podcast it says chat cemetery a stephen king podcast. I really like the sticker. It's cute. I also really like the name Chat Cemetery, like Pet Cemetery. <laughs> That's cute. I I don't listen to too many podcasts and when I do they're usually true crime related, but um this one sounds fun and I like the sticker, so might have to give it a listen. Then we have a magnet with the Nightworms logo on it. That is so cute. I'm going to have to put this on my book cart. That's adorable. I love that. It's so, so, so cute. I don't, I don't have too many magnets, but I'll have to put this on my book cart so it'll be all cute on there. And then our sticker of the month says, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to bash your brains in. And it's a little baseball bat. That is so cute. I actually really like how little this one is too and thin. This will be nice to stick on the book cart as well. Well, I am excited to decorate my book cart now. I have two, three things, three, two stickers and a magnet that I can put on my book cart. And then of course we have the little flyer with everything that is inside our package this month. So let's get into the books, the very exciting portion of the sun packaging. The first book inside our March package is Later by Stephen King. This is his 
newest book and I'm actually really 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 excited to read it. I've heard a lot of people have been loving it. I also really like the length of it. Stephen King is an author that is very hit or miss for me. I either love the book that I read by him or I hate it so I'm interested to see <laughs> because I am so all over the place with his writing that I would like to see what this is like, but uh, let me read you the back. The son of a struggling single mother, Jamie Conklin, just wants an ordinary childhood, but Jamie is no ordinary child. Born with an unnatural ability, his mom urges him to keep secret. Jamie can see what no one else can see and learn what no one else can learn. But the cost of using this ability is higher than Jamie can imagine. As he discovers when an NYPD detective draws him into the pursuit of a killer who has threatened to strike from beyond the grave. So I think it sounds interesting. I, again, like I said, I really like the length of this one. I tend to like his shorter uh, books as well, just because sometimes the length of a Stephen King novel is just a little too much for me. So I am excited about this. Let me know if you guys want a review from someone who isn't a super duper 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 fan of Stephen King. I do love Stephen King and I respect him, but uh, yeah, his work is just hit or miss for me. So I will be interested to see how I feel about this one. And then next we have The Sanatorium by Sarah Pierce. I have heard nothing about this book. I absolutely don't know anything about it. I don't think I've ever read anything from Sarah Pierce, so I'm going to go into this one completely blind. I have no idea what it's about, so let's read it. Oh, hey, there's something inside of it. There's a book plate inside of it. I just found it. How cute! It was just inside my book. Yay! That's so exciting. So let me read you what it says. Half hidden by forest and overshadowed by threatening peaks, Le Sommet has always been a sinister place. Long plagued by troubling rumors, the former abandoned sanatorium has since been renovated into a five-star minimalist hotel. An imposing isolated getaway spot in the Swiss Alps is the last place Elin Warner wants to be. But Elin's taken time off from her job as a detective, so when her estranged brother Isaac and his fiancée Lori invite her to celebrate their engagement at the hotel, Elin really has no reason not to accept. Arriving in the midst of a threatening storm, Elin immediately feels on edge. There's something about the hotel that makes her nervous. And when they wake the following morning to discover Lori is missing, Elin must trust her instincts if they hope to find her. With the storm closing off all access to the hotel, the longer Lori stays missing, the more the remaining guests start to panic. Elin is under pressure to find Lori, but no one has yet realized that another woman has gone missing, and she's the only one who could have warned them just how much danger they are all in. Ooh, this one sounds good. This sounds right up my alley. Ooh, this sounds good. I'm excited for this one. This sounds awesome. I'm really, really, really excited for this one. This one sounds great. They both sound really good. I'm interested to see how I feel about either book. But yeah, this was a really, really, really good package. And even if I'm not the biggest, biggest Stephen King fan, it's just exciting to get his newest book in this package anyways, and just to have it. Because I do have his books. I do like collecting them, and I do like attempting to read them, so I'm excited to add it to my collection and see if I do enjoy this one. But I, I, I am excited for this one. This one sounds right up my alley. It sounds so good. So yeah, that was what was inside my March Thrills and Kills, no, Kills and Thrills. Kills and Thrills March Nightworms package. Oh my God, that was a tongue twister for me. I don't know why, but I could not say it. So there you go. That was a really, really fast unpackaging. I feel like I did that way faster than I usually do. So <laughs> this might be a really, really short video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have tried Nightworms. Did you pick this I almost called it a box. Let me know in the comments down below if you picked this package up, what your thoughts are, how do you feel about this Stephen King book, have you read it yet? Let me know in the comments down below. How are we feeling about my background? Do we like the change? Do we like that I'm changing things up? How does it look? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I would love to hear about them. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It lets me know what kind of content you enjoy from me. That way I can keep providing you with that kind of content. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We can become friends, talk about makeup, books, horror, movies, all kinds of things. I do a lot on this channel, so hopefully there's something for everyone. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Monday. And I will see you on Wednesday with another video. Bye!